What is up guys, Jerry Bravo back with another build video and this time we are going to go over my level 60 PvE spear build. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this one after watching my spear PvE build I posted a month ago when I was about level 45, 44 in the depths. Uh, so I was pretty excited to put this one together. Although this build is similar to the one in that video, we actually take a different ability and a couple different passives. This build is arguably the best DPS build that I have currently seen, and I pull aggro quite consistently, as you will see throughout this video. And uh, with that as well, Perforate is just one of the best support abilities as it rends the target and allows everyone in your party to do, to do more damage. You'll be watching clips of us killing trash in the Lazarus instrumentality, then I'll go through my armor and attributes, my spear build, and then I will show clips of us taking down the first and second boss inside Lazarus. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I was statting primarily for dex and strength because I want to hit that 50 strength attribute bonus and I also grab keen vault kick on my chest which increases my random crit chance uh, with vault kick. So we actually do take vault kick this time instead of sweep like we did uh, beforehand. So the featherweight ring is also really good. It has keen awareness and dexterity and that drops in uh, that drops in garden of genesis. And then keen and vicious on my spear. Constitution is a useless uh, attribute in PvE but that's all right. And then just flat dex on my orcaca musket. We also use the Fall Harvest Turkey for the 24 dex and 16 strength. So I actually do sit at 34 strength and I pop this food and I sit perfectly at 50 strength and then the, uh, the dexterity will just add that extra damage up at the end because I'm sitting at about 400 dexterity. And we also use the Infused Ancient Coating just to get that bonus damage on Ancients and a Common Honing Stone. So these are my attributes and like I was just saying earlier, we do sit at 50 strength for that 5% damage increase to melee weapon light attacks. And then the rest will basically be statted into dexterity. So we take that 300 dexterity bonus with the guaranteed crit after a dodge roll with the 10 second intro and cooldown, which is just crazy. So that's why you'll see me dodging a lot, um, not only to avoid uh, damage from enemies, but you know, just to be proccing this as often as I can. There's also a couple passives that go along with dodging. So I'll get into those when I get into the actual spear build. But um, the constitution that I have here can be statted better. I just, I haven't created a, a, a best in slot pve set i suppose so that should really just be at like five con and then the rest should just be put into dexterity um so i could be sitting at about 415 dexterity with the 50 strength bonus if i if i just statted a little bit better you know having this much dexterity and just that 50 strength attribute bonus is going to be really nice so here is the spear build and we take Perforate, Skewer, and Bolt Kick as our three abilities, and we take every single passive underneath these three abilities. So for uh, for Perforate, the rend will just be increased to 10% per strike against targets above 50% health. So you want to try to get the Perforate off um, on targets as soon as they are encountered. And then Impactful Strikes doesn't really help in PvE much, um, but the Stagger will just help you when you're clearing trash and just looking at the other passives in the Zoner Tree and Crippling Jabs. Um, you know, this is really just the, the, the best perk you can get when compared to the others that are available. And then for Skewer, um, plus 20% damage against targets that have full health. will just, it, that's just an insane damage increase. So you will always want to start off with Skewer, dodge, and then go into a Perforate. And then you gain Empower on critical hits. So we are really focused on critical hits. And as you saw, my Spear has increased critical strike chance. And same with my Ring. So, um, you know, there's a pretty high chance that I'll crit on Skewer. Especially if I take advantage of the 300 dexterity bonus and I dodge and then skewer right at the beginning, that will crit and I'll get a 20% in power. Deep wound just increases the bleed duration to 15 seconds, so this will just help with the bleed uptime on bosses. And then for vault kick, we take relentless blows, so you gain in power after successful hits on targets below 50% health, increasing your damage by 20%. So this is crazy. So. Um, there's just a lot of empowers that, that we focus on in this build. And then continuous motion just is another cooldown reduction uh, passive. And the other cooldown re uh, reduction of passive is the aggressive maneuver. So after you dodge and you successfully hit with an ability within two seconds, all spirit cooldowns are reduced by 20%. And then same with refreshing jabs. So we really focus on light attacks. Um, all the heavy attack passives are on the zoner side. Um, but as you can see, we only take deadly reach, which just increases your critical strike chance on targets when they are three plus meters away. And this is definitely affected, this definitely affects skewer. And I think it also affects heavy attacks, but it does not affect flat attacks. So um, just another critical strike chance increase on skewer. So you have a higher chance of getting that empower from follow through. 
And these last two passives just go off of your bleed from Skewer. So critical hits extend the duration of your spear debuffs and damage over time effects. So this will increase the uptime of your bleed from Skewer and also the rend from Perforate. So this is just incredible for, for long boss fights. And then Exposed Wounds just increases your critical strike chance against targets with bleed. So you always want to have that bleed up from Skewer because um, Exposed Wounds and Exasperating Crits will really help you with the uptime and the crit chance on targets with, with bleed from Skewer. And also Deep Wound, again, um, increasing that bleed duration. So you just have a longer crit chance uh, opportunity window. And then Exploded Weakness is the biggest passive that we have and is absolutely nutty in PvE. So it increases your damage by 10% per debuff up to a 30% damage increase max. So if we took Enfeebling Skewer, you could, as a solo player, have three, three debuffs up on the target at all times with the bleed, perforate, uh, the rend from perforate, and then Enfeebling Skewer will add the weaken to your target. But in PvE, there's always gonna be three debuffs on a target, no matter what. I mean, you have three other DPS and a tank. So, um, you know, the debuffs will be there no matter what. So 30% um, damage increase to all targets, basically at all times after about two seconds into the fight, maybe, just so people can get their debuffs off. So with the long fights, you'll just see my damage get increased a lot by this by this passive. Did they make this boss easier or something? No, we have a big old thing. We have a bad ton of damage right now. Well, but she hasn't done any of her spells either. She's not charged up yet. She usually gets charged up by the orbs that we drop. And right now she'll get another attack. Watch her, watch her boss. After doing two attacks of our game. I think I did this last time my group and at like 90% she was doing the uh, big arcane waves. So he gets credit. I still got hit by We tested it once. Hmm. I'll try right. sword and shield then. It, yeah, it doesn't really matter who gets the laser, to be honest. It's just the lag killed him and the orb not being put down. Was the reason. Yeah, so when he starts doing it, if you have the orb, it's like in the back then? Or? No, it's the orb should be put down before. As soon as you kill this thing, pick the orb up and put it down. Instead of holding the orb and putting it down when you have the laser, and it takes a second to register that the orb is actually down. Go put it in there.
Yo, I don't even have. What the fuck? Maybe I can save a, a taunt for right before he does that. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I didn't even have the orb when he targeted me. Or I'm gonna die. I don't. Yeah, I got stunned by his hand. I almost just died again. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I've never seen it. I feel like I've never had issues with this laser before. Nah, dude, that's I, what I was saying. I've never had it. Dude, I had a fucking... I had shitty healing gear last time I did this. That was really, really bad. It feels like it does like fucking I, way more than that. I thought that was normal. That's what was happening to me last time I ran this. It would choose a wow. DPS every time. And it was the same one. Who has aggro right now? It's uh, Jay. His, his name is highlighted for you, Johnny? Yeah. Well, then you should be able to pull aggro off of him. Or else laser will you if you have aggro. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm even taunting. I just, I don't even have... Huh. If I did, yeah, I'm gonna just die again. Stop attacking, let it go to me. Because it's gonna he's gonna final laser here soon. I don't I don't I think it's too late. If I see when his laser comes up because you guys are so close, I can time it a little bit better. I can just like drop all my healing on you. You don't have to move, so you should be okay. You can go so accurate. It's too late for this boss anyway, the boss is dead. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, he's not even gonna do it. Did you? Easy clappers. Oh, there he goes. No, sir. No, oh, sir. nice. Another will of the ancients. You're fucking lying to me. No, I'm not. But this one, wait, this one is. As you can see, this build pumps out a lot of damage in expeditions, and I can confidently stand by the fact that I do think that this is the best DPS build. If not the best, it's top three uh, PBE expedition builds. Not only for the pure damage, but for the rend that it, uh, Perforate can put out for your party. And as I gear more specifically for this build and for expeditions in general, this damage will just go up uh, exponentially. So I'm really excited for that. What do you guys think about this build? Let me know in the comments below um, if you have tried a PvE spear build or maybe if you're finding more success with other weapons. I know the rapier can also do a lot of damage like the spear. Um, so I'm curious, you know, I want to try it the rapier at some point, but I'm really loving the spear and, um, you know, especially for PvE expeditions when we're trying to pump through these, through these dungeons quickly, the spear is just insane and top tier in my opinion. Just a friendly reminder that I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jbravotv. So if you have any questions about my build, about the weapons that I use or anything of that matter, go ahead and drop by and uh, hang out in there. I'm usually streaming about five times a week, so um, usually running out post rush, but you'll catch me running expeditions uh, every now and then. We'll, we'll get a group together and run, you know, a handful of these. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.